Hey, what's up guys? Zircom here with Get Some Elite Gaming, bringing you a quick match on Gulch that me and a couple of my other clan mates did the other day. This actually was, uh, I'm recording from the theater instead of directly to my capture card because this was kind of just an intro match. It was, it was one that um, we were waiting for a couple other guys to get on and uh, so we thought we'd do, you know, a couple little test matches and kill confirmed and uh, ended up going, uh, having quite a good game, uh, ended up going 24 and 1, uh, and I wasn't even really anticipating uh, doing really well on this. It was just, like I said, this is one of the first, first games of the night that we did. So anyways, the, one of the reasons that I'm putting together this video in addition to showing off some of the footage which is okay it's not it's not that outstanding a lot of them towards the end come from kill streaks which you know I know a lot of people don't really like to see those but anyways I also wanted to kind of use this opportunity to introduce uh, get some elite gaming uh, which is a new website and channel uh, me and a couple of my friends have been putting together and just to kind of highlight not only gameplay footage which you know there's a lot of that online but also to provide a resource uh, when Black Ops 2 comes out for, we're gonna be doing a lot of how-to videos, gun videos, information about the game. So we're, tr we're working on building, building up our base right now. We're working on getting some videos, some videos out. Uh, we're working on, we have some kind of Black Ops preview information, obviously. You know, there's been a lot of people that have worked on actually getting to go and play the game uh, none of our clan mates have but we've tried to kind of put together some of the information that we do have to kind of better help people well, you know day one picking out which guns to use how to set up certain classes what are some of the differences between black ops 2 versus black ops 1 and black ops you know and, and the modern warfare series uh, just a quick note, you know, this is kill confirmed. Like I said, I typically don't run kill streaks like this on kill confirmed. I usually run specialist, uh, but I hadn't really, we hadn't really planned on playing a lot of kill confirmed. This was kind of just a last minute thing, and so I was running with it. Uh, the other thing you notice, like on, oh, that was a close one right there. <laughs> You'll notice, like when I did the predator missile, I didn't, you know, I didn't go back and get the kills or anything. You know, a lot of my teammates are doing a much better job on this game than I did on going and getting the kills. Typically that's not my play style. Uh, usually I run with a submachine gun, something silenced, and uh, will run around and try to get as many of the kills as I can. But uh, they were doing a good job with it and it allowed me to, as you'll see, get uh, get some really nice kill streaks and uh, end up winning the game. I was kind of lucky that that guy picked up or dropped an ACR because I really I'm liking the ACR recently. I, I typically will go through phases. I'm sure a lot of people do where they like certain guns over other guns. And right now I'm really liking the MP7 and the ACR. So here I completely miss the opportunity to get my Reaper right here. I missed that guy. Didn't even get a didn't even get a assist on him. Missed another guy right there. Came around the corner. That guy missed that guy. And then you'll see there's a guy around the corner. I'm like, okay, I'm going to see if I can rush him. And right as I come around the corner, one of my other teammates spawns. And I did not even realize that it was my own teammate because I was flashed there for a second. So I missed the opportunity probably on two or three kills right there, which I definitely come to regret as you'll see in a second here um, I'm just kind of going back and forth in between the village area not trying to get into the caves and, and the middle area because it's, you can get flanked so easily and right there that guy noob tubes me and ruins my uh, potentially perfect game there um, <laughs> but you know oh well uh, like I said I hadn't even planned on really focusing on this game this was a practice intro game but from here from here on out I managed to uh, just get uh, not a perfect score but I managed to get you know kills oh that was a horrible horrible miss there 
sometimes if I run with submachine guns too long or run with Type 95 too long, I kind of lose track of how the feel on some of the things like the ACR is. This right here was coming up as one of the luckiest. It's a missed, missed getting an assist on that guy. And I managed to get managed to get a double kill on that and then managed to escape the the grenade. I don't know if that was a martyrdom or if they actually threw a grenade. And I saw this guy kind of flank around, so waited for him. Boom. And then at this point, I'm kind of thinking, okay, I probably have enough to do to link together the Predator, Reaper, AC-130, uh, which I've been running a lot. Uh, if you guys haven't tried that, with especially with Hardline, it's pretty ridiculous how easy it is on on games to link together the Predator Reaper AC-130. Um, you know, and on a game like Kill Confirmed, there's not a lot of advantage to it because they're denying so many of the kills. But it's definitely, you put a lot of firepower in the air. And I got really lucky on this shot because he, he was shooting his stinger. I missed it. Got it blown down and luckily the, <laughs> the last the last missile there landed on somebody and gave me my AC-130. So, you know, the AC-130 is definitely a powerful weapon. I know a lot of people don't like watching the gameplay from it because it's kind of cheap. <laughs> but anyways, uh, the game's almost over here, so I'm going to wrap it up. Again, just wanted to kind of introduce everybody to the Get Some Gaming uh, channel uh, we have a website get some elite gaming.com we're going to be putting up a lot of black ops 2 preview information uh, trailers news and stuff as they come out um, and hopefully hopefully you guys will go check it out and there you go that's the final kill final score ended up being 65 35 so even though i was running kill streaks the, my teammates were doing a good job picking up tags, and as you can see, it definitely got us the win.